All right, folks, let's deep dive into the world of scrap tanks. So we're going into the abyss of very early leak vehicles. They never made it from the super test to the actual common test, or they did and got scrapped anyways. So let's take a look, but this is the original list of the icons. You can see this was before the British tanks were introduced. That's why there's a bunch of British tanks, but some of them are actually questionable. Like the Stuart. We don't have an M5 Stuart for the Brits at tier 4. Surprisingly, I thought we did, but... Taking a look, we don't have one. <laughs> there's not an M5 Stuart, there's an M2 and an M3. But... I thought there was an M5 Stuart. Oh well. Also, the Ram is technically American, technically Canadian, but whatever. Small details. And we have a few that are very questionable, like a farm tractor with a gun. <laughs> Great. Wonderful vehicle design. I mean, this one is practically a H-38 with rocket pods or whatever the hell that thing looks like. That looks like rocket pods, but... We'll take a look at all the historical photos and some backstory or historical info about these vehicles, but... And lastly, we have this page, including the Gas 75 and the T-24. So, we'll take a look. But the T-88 Howitzer motor carriage is practically a Hellcat with a 105mm derp gun. <laughs> There was a recent video by the Chieftain on this vehicle. It's very short, but pretty interesting how they want to mount a practically a bunker buster to a Hellcat. I mean, the actual 90mm or even the 76 was good enough, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a derp gun Hellcat. It's, uh, it's not that viable when I think about it. It may be a tier 5 premium, but ugh. After the high explosive nerf, oh, uh, meh. Sherman tank with a Pershing turret. There's no name for it, but it existed. Only one model built, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> it's a 90 millimeter too, so could be tier seven. Eh, could be tier six. They also put a Jackson turret onto the Sherman as well for the 90 millimeter, but. I mean, mix and match your turrets and your hull, practically. Ah, M1921 medium tank. So, 1921. Uh, it's an older model of a vehicle for the game, so particularly tier 2, maybe tier 1. Not, not really tier 3, but, you know, just scrap metal for low tier. It's alright, it's interesting, but it's not gonna make it to the game. You're going to get chewed out by tier 4s, no question about it. So, it's World War 1 era, obviously. Yeah. Cruiser tank A7 for the Brits. Alright, I mean, its predecessor is... Uh, it is the predecessor to the actual cruiser tanks. So, it is like the prototypes in that sense, but... Alright, I mean... Okay. <laughs> You can take a look at the text. Uh, I don't want to read through everything. It will take a while. So, all right, Matilda one. Oh, <laughs> it is the prototype to the actual Matilda. It is a piece of crap. <laughs> so terrible, and the actual Matilda two took over the actual name. So, blah. It is pretty junk. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? <laughs> Agri-Motor. It is categorized as German for some reason, so Hans got tired and stuck a gun to it, practically. <laughs> There's only one picture of it, and that's the picture. Only the icon for the vehicle. That is practically it. I mean, I mean okay. <laughs> it's so weird. I will drive it. it. It may be a tier 2 tank destroyer based on wheels, but it's a tractor. Tractors are not fast. Unless you modify the engine or something, I don't know, but... <laughs> Alright, the Stern Panzer IV, the Brumbar. Um, I would love to have this vehicle. I would love it, but it's not balanced. It's a high explosive shell. Derp gun, so... It may be a... I'm thinking maybe tier 6 premium? 
but it's been a long time, so we're we're not getting this thing. We're not even close. We have the Sturm Tiger, which is coming up, but that was only for a special event, so it will be great. E10 Cockroach. Oh, it's even smaller than the E25, supposedly. Based on the should be based on the Panzer 38 T chassis, and they modified the road wheels into that into this shape. Uh, 75 millimeter gun. Yeah, it's. I mean, E25 is already pretty toxic, so <laughs> this is even worse. All right, I mean, it's theoretical. It's a blueprint. They, they never actually made it, but all right. Sturm Tiger. We had it for an event. Where you shoot high explosive rounds at each other, but that was that was only it. It got removed. The model got removed. You don't have the model in the game, so technically scrapped, I guess. But yeah, War Thunder has it, and it's also funny that if you shoot through the gun barrel and hit the ammunition, the whole thing explodes, which is pretty interesting. But <laughs> Yeah, we, we never had. This thing is not balanced. It will be tier 10 for that matter, I think. I mean, the armor will not hold up at tier 10, but the gun will. But it's a garbage ass gun when you think about it. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Alright, ACL 135. It is a box tank to shore based on the D1 chassis. Uh, earlier models have been made of the vehicle, but. It never actually made it to the game. Never, never, not even close. 75 millimeter. It will be a tier four, likely. Maybe tier, nah, tier four. Tier three is a little bit overkill. A little bit. AMC 35, not the same as AMR 35. There's a small difference in the turret design and some other subtle stuff, but we do have the AMR 35. Uh, there are some few technicalities, there are a few earlier lower tiers that are interesting, but in World of Tanks aspect, it is not as diverse enough. You will not tell the difference for an average player, what the difference between the AMR-35 and the AMC-35. Eh, eh, they look about the same, right? AMR-P-103, uh, not a prototype, a little bit, but... Yeah, it's a little machine gun too. Okay. Oh, AMX-13 prototype. This is interesting. So, the original prototype to the AMX-13. Uh, slightly different of a vehicle hull and turret design. First class or first iteration of the oscillating turret. Um, I think easily become tier 6 premium or tier 5 for that matter. But, not a bad, I mean... It is a very iconic vehicle. They already made the vehicle model, but never put it. We do have the AMX like 12. No, no, AMX 12T at tier 6. And the 57mm AMX 13. But uh, maybe this will be at tier 6. Mm. Alright, Char 2C. We had it for the Halloween event with the Leviathan. The first testing of the Leviathan, but... Uh, it's faster, surprisingly, than the FCM <laughs> that you'll see, but the gun doesn't perform as well as the, as the FCM, definitely. I mean, it's still fun. It's super big, but on the... What was the mask? Or the... Was it the Kursk? No, it wasn't Kursk. It was the Russian map, but fighting the Vla Leviathan. And you had this thing also, FCM F1. This thing was a lot better. The gun was a lot better. At dealing with the Leviathan, but the the Char 2C was faster. <laughs> Small details. They made it, but they removed the model from the game for some reason. I mean, you could just save it in the in the game files for us to look at, but no. And the Char 2C Bis is practically a 155 millimeter onto the Char 2C. Yeah, it has a derp gun. <laughs> Big ass derp gun. Oh. I mean, it's interesting, but it's so convoluted <laughs> in terms of 1926 design. <laughs> 155mm derp gun against something like a fortress or something. <laughs> Alright, Lorraine G1L. There's three G1s. We have the G1R, 
the G1B, also called the BDR, and the G1L. So this is practically a tier 5 heavy for the French, but they never actually made it. So surprisingly, I never knew that the BDR stands for G1B. It's a different name, but interesting enough, the teapot, practically. Lorraine 37 LAC, it's a tank destroyer. It is the predecessor to the artillery piece, the Lorraine 39 LAM artillery. So a little bit different of a hull design, a little bit different, but practically the same. So I think this is already in War Thunder as well. It's a low tier tank destroyer or artillery piece as they will call it. But uh, this could be, yeah, this is probably our, mm, I say tank destroyer. Maybe artillery. Yeah, I could go for both. Panzerjäger R35. A R35 with a German gun, practically. So converted from a French tank. And yeah, models already made it. I mean, I think they chose the FCM uh, 36 Pack 40, right? At tier 3. You don't need too many OPS. <laughs> Low tier French tank to shore premium. Ah. Also, this one's kind of confusing. Hotchkiss H38 Series F from the name, but it has a Panzer in front, so they want it to be German. Also, it looks like rocket pods. I have no idea. There's no info on a H38. I only think it actually existed. Um, there's a H35. H39 Confusing what the hell uh, H38 is, but some info I found I guess. Okay rocket pods. I don't know <laughs> All right interesting Russian cockroach so the IT 45 it is only a Paper tank, but they took the basis of a T60 and T70 chassis removed the top and turn it into a tank destroyer with a 76 millimeter. So interesting, but uh, you need another cockroach for the Russian. <laughs> All right, it's a real thing, but it's only a paper tank, so it's not straight out of the ass of wargaming, I guess. SU 76 BM. It is a prototype, obviously, but also based on competition with the actual SUs. With the 76 millimeters, so yeah, it's still interesting. I mean, they never actually built it. There were a few ver various conversion of SU tanks into 76 millimeters as a tank destroyer, supposedly. I mean, they took a Panzer tank and turned it into a tank destroyer, captured Panzer tank. You already know that, but all right, Gaz 75. This is also interesting. So a different version of an SU tank to shore practically, but it has an 85 millimeter. So I'll put the links of the different backstories and history of all this stuff into the description. You can take a look, but you can also search. There's a lot of interesting information, but it's a very lesser known vehicle compared to the usual SU-85s or SU-100s, yada yada. T-24, it's a... Uh, it's a derpy, pre-World War II medium tank, practically. I mean, it's alright, but it's a low-tier filler garbage, practically. Dust collector, if you will. Has a lot of DT machine guns. <laughs> a lot. Alright, the actual T-24, tank destroyer. It's a M3 Lee with a different gun mounting on it, so not to be confused with a T-40 slash M9, where the gun is in the hull, this one's above it. So technicalities, but it's only a prototype. Okay. I mean, it already made it earlier. RBT-5. It's a BT-5 with rocket pods. <coughs> or torpedoes. Tank torpedoes. <laughs> Not bal- <coughs> Not even balance for the game. <laughs> Two of them. At what? Tier 4? Tier 3? Oh no. It's a 420 millimeter uh, blaze it tank torpedo. I think you will one one shot like all tier fours or something. <laughs> it's not balanced. <laughs> all right, T35 super heavy. Um, it's big. Uh, it was designed but never made it. I think 
Uh, compared to the T28, this thing will be too big and not that fun to play with unless you have the multi turret stuff going on. So, yeah. It's like a TOG 2 of like what? Tier 3? Tier 4? Oh, <laughs> so big. Alright, my favorite T58 Heavy. It's a T57 with a 6 round 155mm autoloader. Because reasons. <laughs> it is super busted. No, you're not putting it. <laughs> you're not putting this. Six rounds? I mean, they actually nerf the 120 on the T57. I think it was 10 round autoloader on the actual T57. And that thing was crazy. That I mean, 10 rounds of 120? Nuts! <laughs> so they nerfed it to four rounds, obviously, but... Six rounds, 155. Jesus. <laughs> it's like a Waffen trigger. Off E100, but better. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Originally, there were a few pictures of a Grill 15 with the uh, GW Panthers uh, gun shield, if you will. So, kind of a weird design, but only tease a few in a few trailers. One trailer for the, the racing, or the JPEG for the racing, and one trailer showing off the, the Grand Battles map, if I remember correctly, but it was leaked on the Asian server very quickly before they pulled it or changed it. So it still has probably garbage dispersion values, which makes the gun super inaccurate. We are turning the gun. <laughs> so inaccurate. Buff the Grill 15, jeez. We have the Lanchester armored car. <clears throat> it got pulled after the event, but... Oh, the Lanchester worked well. Let's put the EBRs into the game. Great idea, guys! Great idea! <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh, God, why? The precursor to the EBRs is this thing. It's like, oh, it works well against the Mark 1. We should put it as EBRs. Splendid plan. That was sarcasm. <laughs> also, the Mark 1, obviously, but I don't think you can damage this thing. You can only slow it down. Whereas the Lanchester cars are just running around like flies to a pile of turd or something but this thing actually has a pen now originally this thing only has like what 10 millimeters of armor five so it, it wasn't that good also it was slow also the fumes exhaust suffocated the crew so it's it's not that great <laughs> all right object 279 the actual one not the 279 early so this is the actual tank not the 726 from personal missions but it was modeled with HD and stuff. I had the vehicle model too, and I modded it into the game, but yeah, you, you're not gonna have this in World of Tanks. No way. Look at the Commander Cupola size. Look at the hull front. You, you, you look at the hull size for that matter. You're not penetrating this thing with your tier 10s. Pfft, no. <laughs> and this is the Japanese tech tree that got leaked ish so possibility it's practically a copy and paste from the blitz version a little bit so from in, from in, from tier 5 for the heavy tanks and from tier 7 with the tank destroyers there's a little bit difference in top tier tank destroyers it's a little flip around compared to blitz so it's like with the yo tanks on blitz we have the m5 yo as tier 10 they have it as tier 9 and they have the tier the m6 yo as tier 10 we have it as tier 9 so a little bit of a fl flipperoo for the tank destroyer as well but not that much so this was originally leaked on the chinese server provider kwangzong and this was the original low tier japanese tank destroyers so take a good look um, the JPEGs are not that well detailed. It's from a very long time ago, 2015. So you do have a few artifacts of the original leaks, but uh, they, they got pulled very quickly. So this was also along with the Japanese heavy tanks, I think. But there were a few silhouettes of high tiers, likely tier 6 through 10. So this one looks like the recent. Uh... Hoto, the Type 5 Hoto, a little bit, right? It's center mounted, not that big, not that long compared to the rear mounted ones. So, 
they have a few Horis as well. So we'll see all of them coming soon this year, hopefully. And thank you guys for watching. So those are the full oh, iceberg, I guess if you call it, or abyss of vehicles made it to World of Tanks, but got scrapped or never actually made it from the super test. So very big credit. Thank you to Legacy, like Legacini on the Reddit page for providing most of the information. So he's the one that dug up the Japanese tank destroyer branch. I tried to look all over. I remember these JPEGs. There was one comparing one Panzer Jaeger to a, I think it was the Honey Mark I. So there was a comparison, but it was from a long time ago. So nobody actually has the JPEG anymore, surprisingly. So very big credit, thank you to him on the reddit page as well as tanks encyclopedia and a bunch of other websites so dug up all the info but there you go folks a bunch of crazy <laughs> crazy ass low tier sometimes high tier mostly low tier vehicles that got scrapped ultimately but you're not gonna have this thing no way <laughs> that's my favorite six rounds 155 yeah insane but this is also interesting. So all of these are actually low tier. But back then, prior to like what? Patch 8.0? I mean, you have Sherman tanks against Mouses. So the tier spread were that crazy or was pretty crazy compared to nowadays. So uh, yeah, you have weird low tier vehicles that could see high tier vehicles and therefore you have more diversity. But I think ultimately, these vehicles are either overbalanced, like super overpowered in the sense of the this vehicle right here, or the Storm Tiger, or complete crap, like this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty garbage. So ultimately, they got scrapped, but I would, I would not be surprised if they introduced something like this: a Pershing tank with a Sherman chassis or Pershing turret. So I wouldn't be surprised. I would be surprised about something like this. But there you go, folks. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.